Hi, my name is Andy and uh, today I'm going to do a review of a rum which is uh, a white rum and uh, you know any of you that are regulars to my rum reviews you'll know that I'm more onto the sipping rum side of things but I have had a lot of uh, comments by different people saying that you know do I ever do more generic brands and um, you know you know you can I can understand the fact that it's you know 50 60 70 pound bottles of rum sometimes it, it's a good idea to uh, incorporate some some more on the shelf brands that people can access easily and that's what I'm going to start doing as well so my first one is a white rum and it's Ray and Nephew overproof rum um, it's a product from Jamaica and it it's um, the, the labelling itself is done in the colours of the Jamaican flag, so you know, nice and easy to see. And uh, when you want, if you want to buy it on the shelf, it's not, not one that you can uh, mistake. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of um, information I've just looked at, just to, of the background of Ray and Nephew. Um, big history, really. Uh, J. Ray and Nephew began in 1825 when Charles. Uh, John Ray, the founder, opened the Shakespeare Tavern in, in uh, Kingston, Jamaica. And in 1860, he brought in James, uh, Charles James Ward, his uh, brother's son, so his nephew. And uh, over the many years then, they made their business a really successful business, the Shakespeare Tavern in uh, Jamaica, and their spirits uh, enterprise that they done as well. And... Um, in 1916, um, the Lindo brothers and co purchased this Ray and ne purchased Ray and Nephew, and pretty much soon after, uh, the company J Ray and Nephew Limited they purchased the Appleton Estate, uh, which pretty much is the most famous um, uh, Jamaican sugarcane estate up in the Nassau Valley, and. Um, a little bit more information, like I, I told you about it in my VX review, that in 1997, Joy Spence uh, became master blender at uh, J. Ray and Nephew, and uh, she became, she was the first woman ever to be accredited with this title. So it's a really massive achievement. And, uh, you know, like I said, you look at the bottle, it's in the colours of the Jamaican flag, and... What you, I don't know if you know this, but it's said that 90% of all rums that, is, that are drunk in Jamaica are the Ray and Nephew brand. Because um, white rum, to me this is just, you know, you look at this and it's a strong white overproof rum. But in Jamaica, I mean, as, I, as with a lot of sugar cane product producing countries, this drink has become a part of integral life. It's not something that is just... Uh, there to, to drink. It's it's become a part of um, medicine, uh, ritual, all sorts. Uh, and for examples of that, um, if you had aching joints, you would rub this uh, on your joints, and it was said to to ease the ache and the pain. Um, if you had the flu, then you'd take take it for the flu. Um, and ritual wise, um, it's a, one of the oldest rituals are that if you're building a house. And once you get to uh, foundation level, you sprinkle overproof rum over the foundations and it um, wards off, it's said to ward off evil spirits. So as you can see, big part of integral life in Jamaica. So um, I'm going to turn around and try a little bit now and we'll have a little sip. I'm not normally used to drinking this stuff, so I'm sure it's going to be interesting. Probably blow me socks off. So let's have a little look. Right, obviously there's no colour to show you other than the fact that it's white, there you go. Uh, first of all, I poured that and the smell, you smell it, obviously it's very alcoholic and very strong. But there are such green notes coming off of this, sugar cane, you can smell the cane. It's, it's quite a pleasant smell, do you know what, that's a better smell than I thought it would be, very, very aromatic, very aromatic. And then I'm going to go for a little taste. This is where I'm going to... If I make any strange noises, uh, it's only me tasting this rum. Woo, yeah, that's got one hell of a kick. 
but it's really pleasant. It's, it's, it, oh, it's, it, you get the initial strength of the rum, and then it just seems to fade off, and it goes to a lovely sweet finish. Um, let me see if I can, can get anything out of this. Like I said, on smell wise, you smell you smell the alcohol, but you can also get cane notes, sort of banana, banana for sure. Oh, that's so, on the second taste, it's so, the sweetness really does go around. Spicy, peppery, like I said, banana, um, sugar cane notes. This is very much like a, a, an aguardente. I don't know if it's done, they don't say on the bottle, but this is so much like a cachaça in, in flavour. You get the real, like I said, uh, um, with cachaça you get like a real uh, green, aguardente rums, you get a real sweetness and cane and floralness to it and this is what this has got um this would make a really good caipirinha in cocktails that for sure As a matter of fact that's the next thing i'm going to i'm going to use this for caipirinhas it's great um another thing i would say is like i said it's not one you want to be sipping i don't think you would sip this it'd be more for mixing for rum punches and high-end cocktails um you know it's it's a rum which I would say I'm going to try it out with a caipirinha and I'll let you guys know how I get on with it and what it's like. But yeah, it's a real nice, if you want a nice premium cocktail, go for it. You know, it's it's got a lovely flavour to base to it. I should make a really great cocktail. Um, it's around about £21 to £23 pounds a bottle in the UK. So reasonable, you know. And this is, my name's Andy. And I'd like to say, until next time, cheers.